The story trailer for Spider-Man 2 was amazing. While it did give us new looks at established characters and hinted towards who Venom could be, one interesting point of the trailer that I've seen discussed is who this person could be encountering a crash symbiote. This scene occurs later in the trailer and personally I believe it's a flashback similar to how we see Martin Lee's story in the first game and with this we also have confirmation that the symbiote is alien instead of man-made like the Ultimate Comics and we are to assume Oscorp is the only company working on them. Personally I don't believe this is a random individual, I think this is either a character we've already seen or it's one who will play an important role in the coming game. And there are a few options to who this could be that I have seen discussed with the first being Dr. Connors. Now Dr. Connors has appeared in the Insomniac universe, it's just that we haven't seen him fully. He does appear in the post credit scene for Miles Morales and the theory that I've seen thrown around is that this is how he'll lose his arm, the symbiote will basically lash out at him and honestly that would be a unique way to tie things together. Another idea that I've seen is that this is Eddie Brock as of now we don't know if he'll be Venom in Spider-Man 2 or if he even has a role in the game, but it would be different if this is Eddie considering he never worked at Oscorp in the comics, but I can see the inspiration for it since Eddie's father in the Ultimate Comics created the symbiote. Next is an idea that this could be Donald Mankin, who you may be familiar with from TASM 2, he is Norman's personal assistant in the comics, and looking at his comic counterpart I can see the resemblance so this would be a strong possibility. But with an Oscorp employee being likely for this mystery character, you could also consider Dr. Strom and Alistair Smythe as candidates, to my knowledge they haven't appeared in Insomniac's world and that would make sense. Finally, I believe the last believable candidate could be Doc Ock, this would be a way to tie things together, but I don't think it's as likely as others in this video, but I do think it would be interesting to have more backstory to that character. So let me know what you all think, who do you think this is and why? Let me know in the comments below, thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe, follow my social medias, hit that like button and I will see you guys again in my next video.